Aloha, little brother. How are you doing? All right, let's make sure we're in tune. G, C, E, A. Great job today. Um, what I'd like to do is stress exactly what you're going to be going through this week. I would love for you to play all your majors into minors and do the beginning part of your scale exercises as well. I know that you know what your triads are, so let's build them together. We're going to start with C major. C major and C, E, and G. C, G, E, and C. These two are octaves. This is our G from our G major. This is our E from our E major. And this is our C as our unison note. So C major, when we want to make the C major a C minor, we remove the third, we flatten the median. So C major, C minor. We're going to go to a D major, which has a A note, a D note, and an F sharp. When we drop our F sharp to an F, we get a D minor. So D major, D minor. Sometimes you can play these with um, two fingers. But I would suggest playing with just the D. D major, D minor. Now E major, we've got our first finger up there on the B. We're also going to play the uh, G sharp. We've got the E here, and then we've got the B again. We're going to flatten the third, which is going to be our G sharp. So the median is going to go from G sharp to a G, which makes our E major and E minor. When we go from the F major, we're going to have to drop our A down to a A flat. So that feels kind of funky. So we move our first finger where it was on the F, replace that with that, and then put our C up. To give us our F, A, C, but we just now don't have a, a, uh, an A natural. We've got an A flat. F, A, C. Learn how to play these in both fingering patterns. So if you know how to play the F major to an F minor, you can play an F major in the second fingering to an F minor in the second fingering pattern. After F, we've got G. G major has a G, a B, and a D. So one, three, five. When we flatten the B to a B flat, it becomes a G minor. When you play the G minor, you don't always have to play this open G open. You can take your finger that's on the other G, put it down to here to give us our high B flat, and then you can replace that with your pinky, thusly giving you the G minor with a thicker sound, which you can chuck with. Because that last string isn't larga, uh, larga? I just blanked out. Um, it doesn't keep going. It dissipates. All right, after our G, we go to an A. A major has the A, it has the C sharp, and an E. It's our one, three, five. When we get rid of our C sharp, we get an A minor. Remember, when we play the G major, and we go to G sharp to A, if we play G and a secondary finger and move up, we can put our finger down to get the G sharp, or the A flat, and then A. Alternatively and relatively, when we do the A major, we can play it like this, or we can play it like this, or we can play it like this, or we can play it like this. What else can we play? Like? Well, here's what I was going for. A major, when you do the A minor, you can play the A minor like this, and add the seventh, or you can take this note, this note, this note, and this note. So basically, we've got the same thing we do with that secondary chord of G minor. We keep moving them down, we can fill these. So that's the A minor. After A minor, we've got B major, partial bar, and then our A shape. A, B flat, B. B minor, take away the third, just like C to C minor. And here's what we're going to do. We know that we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B diminished C. So C major. Sharp 
Yeah, that's not right. C sharp diminished. C sharp diminished resolves to D. So that C sharp diminished looks exactly like the B diminished. C diminished. C sharp diminished. D diminished. C sharp diminished. D diminished. Those are all the same pattern for us. So what we're trying to get just to see is the fingers, when we move our pattern shapes, move them around. That's what I'd like you to do this week. Here they are all together now. Job, Dan. Um, what I would like to do is try and do a different song with us. Maybe we could pick a show tune or something from a movie that you like. Um, I'm going to include that in the email to your mom to see if we could get um, something that we could both work on. Unless you want to keep going on uh, like Beatles tunes and stuff like that, which are also very fun. Anyway, really enjoyed seeing you. Great job. Aloha.